So the Explorer 35 liter version two from Shimoda has been my main bag for the past couple of years. It's high quality, holds everything I could possibly need it to hold, and it's pretty much a perfect bag. But what if you wanted something smaller? So this is the Fjord 26 liter Sport from Naya Evo. Now if you're not familiar with the company, they're actually out of Europe. They've been around for about six years uh, and they've been putting out some really high quality bags. Um, I'd say from based on the materials and the feel of it, it, it really reminds me of something like a Shimoda or like an F-stop bag. Now full disclosure, Naya Evo has not sent me this bag for review. They're not sponsoring anything. I paid for this with my own money. And as of the recording of this, other than being just another customer, Naya Evo has no idea who I am. So will the bag fit the bill? Let's find out. All right, so what comes in the bag? Well, of course, we get the bag itself. Uh, we get the small RCI, which is uh, what they call the removable camera insert. Uh, you get a waistband, a couple of attachment straps, and a mesh attachment panel. Now, the outside of this bag is made from a high tenacity nylon 210D ripstop fabric. I don't know what all that means. Uh, but when I compare the feeling of this to something like my Shimoda, uh, the fabric actually feels very similar. It feels maybe a little bit thicker. Uh, so I'm pretty confident this is gonna be able to withstand quite a beating. It is highly water repellent, but it does include a rain cover just in case you happen to get in some more intense rain situations. The zippers on it, great quality, nice aluminum pulls on here. Plenty big for uh, grabbing with some gloves if you need to. The, the zippers are also sealed as well um, to make sure that we are keeping that water outside. Next on the outside, we have two mesh pockets, one just like this on the other side on the back here. Um, as far as these pockets are concerned, they're great. You know, of course you can use them to hold on to water bottle, tripod, what have you. The thing I don't quite like about it is the fact that it's entirely mesh. There's no solid bottom to this pocket at all. It's just mesh. So if you're using something like a rock claw or a spiked foot on your tripod, you might not want to actually put the feet inside this pocket. You'll probably just tear right through it. Now that's not to say you can't strap your tripod to it. Uh, in fact, you would just use the straps that come along with it. You can strap it right to the side without having to worry about your feet actually going inside the pocket. Now, as far as the shoulder straps are concerned, we've got nice wide padded uh, shoulder straps, incredibly comfortable. Uh, on each one of the straps here, we have attachment points for various accessories. You can mount a GPS to it. You can run a water bladder through it. One thing I really like about these particular uh, straps though is that these, this one right here, I don't know if you can see this, this is an incredibly stiff, very tight strap on here. And I found that it is a wonderful place to mount my capture clip from Peak Design. But one thing they did great on the Naya Evo is that the sternum strap actually clips onto uh, five different points here to make it so it is still adjustable, but it's not just gonna slide up and down. Now also on the exterior, we have a front pocket as well. A uh, great little place here just to hold a couple of small items. Now the waist strap is quite beefy with a pocket on one side and molly webbing attachment loops on the other. Now the mesh attachment panel is great for securing something like a jacket on the outside, but it's probably not gonna be all that useful if you plan on placing your bag face down to access your gear. So in the front compartment, we have a laptop sleeve with a nice Velcro strap to keep your laptop secure. Uh, this can easily fit a 13 or a 14 inch MacBook Pro. 15 or 16 inch technically would fit within the actual sleeve itself, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit tall. This Velcro strap won't work. In front of the laptop sleeve, we also have a front pocket. Uh, there's actually another little pocket inside of here. And actually there's two, possibly uh, room for something like a, uh, a pen inside here. And then up on top here, we have the storage compartment for uh, the front. Now, of course, the size of the storage is going to vary based on the size of the RCI that you have inside. I happen to have the small, and you can see that takes up about half the space here. So if you have the medium or the large, you know, that is going to definitely have an impact as far as how much storage you actually have up top here. All right. Now, as I stated, I have the small RCI, and this actually has given me plenty of room to put all of my gear. Um, now, without the lens being attached, I can actually fit my body plus four additional lenses. Now, bear in mind, I do shoot micro four thirds, so my lenses are a little bit smaller. One thing I absolutely love about this is the fact that it's quite deep. Um, because the RCI itself is about six inches deep, that allows me to put even the tallest of my lenses inside there standing up. And on the back here, we have uh, another zipper compartment. This goes about halfway down the bag. Um, so you can, of course, store a couple more small accessories in there as well. So what are some of the things I don't like about this bag? Well, for starters, because this bag is designed to hold not only the small, medium, but also the large RCI, and because that RCI is gonna take up the entire space of the bag, 
the back flap has to go all the way up to the front. Now that doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but when you lay it down on the ground and you want to access it, these, the straps kind of get in the way. So you, you find yourself having to, to fold these over to get them out of your way. Now this one isn't really an issue for me in particular, but there are a lot of people I know that prefer having little tiny pockets inside of their bag in order to store different accessories. Me personally, I'd rather have a little pouch inside um, where I can just store things separately. So for example, I have this little pouch here for uh, my microphone. Now the big thing that I'm having an issue with has to do with the back panel. First, it doesn't have any form of ventilation. You can see it's just a flat back panel here. Now, just about every backpack I've owned, whether it be the Shimoda, a Low Pro, um, heck, I've had Eddie Bauer bags and whatnot, they all have the, uh, little airflow channels in the back in order to help get some air through here so your back isn't getting particularly warm. Now, the big brother to this, the 36 liter and also the 60 liter, they both do have those airflow channels on the back. But it's not so much the heat that's a concern for me. The reason why I don't like the fact that it didn't come with any type of um, airflow channels is because it also leaves this really poorly padded. Uh, th this back panel here, I don't know if you can see, is incredibly thin. And because of that, it actually makes the bag quite uncomfortable. See, when I have the bag closed, this upper lip here of the RCI, this actually ends up pushing against your back. So as you can see with my hand, I'm gonna go right over, over here. And once I hit the top of that RCI, it ends up dipping down. And you end up feeling this ridge right in your back. Also, because the panel is so thin, if you do happen to store anything inside of this panel, you're also gonna feel that as well. Um, so for example, I put a couple of batteries in here and it really just pushes against your back. So is this the bag for me? No, but it is really close. I've had the bag for a couple of weeks and in my time working with it and configuring it and seeing how stuff is gonna fit, I really thought this was gonna be the perfect bag when I need something smaller. But unfortunately, because of that back panel, that really is a deal breaker for me. Should Naivo maybe fix that in the future? Yeah, I would actually give this really a, a good consideration. So what's your favorite small camera backpack? Do you, do you prefer something kind of rugged like this? Maybe something like a Brevity Jumper? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more content related to photography tips and tricks, as well as other gear reviews, please consider subscribing. It does mean a lot to me, and it really is an indication of how well I am able to help people watching like you. Now, if that's too much of a commitment for you, but you did actually like the video, please go ahead and just tap that like button. I really appreciate it. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.